Thank you for staying out there for us, Chisana. Do keep the updates coming, and I'm sure that any words related with the so-called Chesunshi scandal or Chesunshi gate will continue to flood the internet, the airwaves, and headlines over the news uh, programs around the nation. And it is, of course, capturing everyone's attention here in Korea, and could leave a permanent blemish on the president and her administration's legacy. And now we go over to the parliament, where our national assembly correspondent Park Ji-won is standing by to give us the updates from there. Chiwon, what are the responses from the parties right now? Hello, Daniel. Well, uh, the nation's three main political parties each held their own press conferences here at the National Assembly, and all three of them, including the president's ruling Senori Party, called for a more thorough investigation into the breach related to the presidential documents. The ruling Senori Party expressed deep regret about the incident and offered an apology as a ruling party. The party added that a more thorough investigation should be conducted to dig into the case after taking some follow-up measures and gathering party members' opinions. The main opposition Democratic Party of Korea said the president's apology was not nearly enough. It said that what the public wanted to know and see was the president's determination to investigate the matter to prevent a recurrence of similar events and to punish those responsible, not just a simple apology with excuses. The Liberal Party said the president doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the matter and called for a swift and thorough prosecutional investigation into every related official. The minor opposition People's Party agreed that the president's apology was not enough and said she didn't clarify anything about her ties to Choi soon -shil. The party also said that President Park doesn't seem to understand what sharing classified documents with an individual who doesn't hold an official position at the presidential office is a serious matter. It warned that if the president doesn't clarify the matter, she won't be able to mitigate the public's anger. And that's all I have for now, and I will have more updates in a later newscast. Back to you, Daniel. All right, Chiwon, thank you for those updates. Uh, the responses from both sides clearly indicating the gravity of the situation boiling to reaching a boiling point right now.